The sale of synthetic drugs like bath salts and K2, they were the focus of a special House meeting Tuesday morning. The House Judiciary Committee discussed two bills that would regulate the sale of the designer drugs. Those drugs right now are not covered by state law. Representative John Walsh says the laws, they simply can't keep up. We have the right as a state to declare what is an illegal substance and what is not. And what's happening is these drug cooks, I like to call them, is, is they so quickly change the substance that is no longer prohibited. So as fast as we pass a law, they've already moved on to creating a new substance. Under these new bills, police would have more authority and regulation, and the list of illegal chemical compounds would expand. Which leads to the question of just what makes a drug synthetic. Most are drugs made to simulate the feeling of the actual drug, but they can be just as dangerous as the real thing. Caroline Vandergriff reports. Brightly colored packages with a variety of names. These designer drugs are designed for a target audience. When you look at the packaging, it's certainly focused towards teenagers. It's not focused towards older adults. Why is it so popular? Because it's accessible, because it's legal, and therefore they're allowed to uh, go and, and buy it for themselves. Designer drugs like K2 and bath salts can be bought at gas stations, convenience stores, or online, usually for $5 to $30. The designer drugs are made of chemical compounds that mimic the effect of other drugs. The ingredients vary and so do the side effects. One package may have no effect on them, but another package may be tremendously potent and therefore cause tremendous and severe side effects to this individual. Some of the side effects include hallucinations, delusions, vomiting, just to name a few. So how can drugs so potent be so accessible? Ken Stecker of the Prosecuting Attorneys Association of Michigan says it's because right now only six of these chemical compounds are illegal in Michigan. So when those particular formulas were banned, chemists created others. They go outside the realm of these particular chemical compounds under the law and therefore create another one that therefore it's legal and therefore that's what the ones you see at the gas stations that they're selling. Pending state bills would give law enforcement and other agencies more authority to regulate designer drugs and would expand the list of illegal chemical compounds. Stecker says changes like these would go a long way to keeping Michigan teens safe. In Lansing, Caroline Vandergriff, Fox 47 News. Designer drugs have been linked to a spike of hospital visits throughout the state. One case of overdose resulted in death. The Michigan Food and Beverage Association believes synthetic drugs, they should be banned. They've issued a no-sale policy of all synthetic marijuana products. There are 3,500 members of the MFBA, including convenience stores, gas stations, and party stores all across the state.